There's a creature in the oceans doing something that seems impossible. It's preying on orcas. Yes, the same orcas that are considered the most feared predators of the seas, the true kings of the ocean. And what's most disturbing is that scientists have found marks from this creature on practically every adult orca inhabiting certain regions of the Pacific. Circular scars, perfectly round, as if someone had used a surgical instrument to remove chunks of flesh from these animals. For years, researchers were baffled. What could be attacking the predator that has no predators? What creature would be capable of leaving such characteristic marks on six-ton animals that hunt in coordinated groups and are known for killing sharks and whales? Today, you're going to discover the truth. And I guarantee the answer will surprise you. When we think about something capable of confronting an orca, our minds immediately go to the great predators. The first obvious suspect would be the great white shark. After all, we're talking about an animal that can reach 20 feet in length, with serrated teeth designed to tear flesh, and that's been portrayed for decades as the absolute terror of the oceans. But here's the problem with that theory. The exact opposite happens. Off the coast of South Africa, two orcas known as Port and Starboard became legends for a macabre reason. Since 2015, they've been systematically hunting great white sharks with frightening surgical precision. Scientists found dozens of great white carcasses on beaches, all with the same pattern, a precise cut between the pectoral fins and the liver completely removed. In June 2023, Researchers filmed an orca killing a great white shark alone for the first time. Starboard attacked a juvenile shark, ripped out its liver, and swam away with the organ in its mouth in less than two minutes. Two minutes. The supposed terror of the seas was eliminated in less time than it takes you to brush your teeth. And it doesn't stop there. After these attacks, the great white shark simply abandoned the region for months. The apex predator fled in terror. So no, it's definitely not the great white shark leaving these marks on orcas. Maybe it's another large shark then? The tiger shark, known for eating literally anything. Or perhaps the hammerhead shark, with its panoramic vision and agility. The problem is the same. Orcas are predators of all these sharks. They've developed a specific technique to hunt them. They induce a state called tonic immobility, turning the shark's belly up. This completely paralyzes the shark, leaving it vulnerable. It's like a power-off switch. And then the orca simply extracts what it wants, usually the nutrient-rich liver, and discards the rest. In the Gulf of California, scientists recently documented a group of orcas specialized in hunting young great white sharks using exactly this technique. They push the sharks to the surface, turn them belly up, and extract their livers while they're still alive. So clearly no large shark is responsible for the mysterious marks on orcas. In fact, it's the opposite. Orcas are at the absolute top of the marine food chain. But then what would explain these scars? Let's look more closely at the marks. They're perfectly circular, with a diameter of approximately 2 to 3 inches. The depth can reach three inches as well. Their clean wounds concave, as if a piece of flesh had simply been torn out. And the healing pattern shows something interesting. Researchers documented that these marks take about 150 days to heal completely. And even after they're healed, the scars remain visible for more than three years. A study published in the Journal of Aquatic Mammals cataloged more than 120 orcas with these marks and almost 200 individual scars. The marks were found on orcas from the Arctic at 70 degrees north latitude to Antarctica at 77 degrees south latitude, practically in all the oceans of the planet. And here's a crucial detail that scientists noticed. The orcas living in the cold waters of Antarctica had old scars, but never recent wounds. This meant that whatever creature was responsible, it lived in warmer waters. The orcas were being attacked during their migrations to tropical and subtropical regions. The creature responsible inhabits the depths. During the day, it remains in abyssal zones, 
between 3,300 feet and 12,000 feet deep where sunlight never reaches. But when night falls, it begins one of the largest vertical migrations in the animal kingdom, rising to within 280 feet of the surface to hunt. And its hunting technique is unlike anything you've ever seen. This creature developed an ability that seems straight out of a science fiction movie. It glows in the dark. Specialized organs called photophores cover the entire underside of its body, emitting an intense green light, the strongest of any known species. This bioluminescence persists for up to three hours, even after the animal is removed from the water. But it doesn't use this light to show off. It uses it to disappear. The light emitted from the underside of the body serves to camouflage its silhouette against the faint light coming from the surface. When a predator looks up, it can't distinguish the creature's outline against the diffuse glow of the night sky. It's a technique called counter-illumination. If you're enjoying this content and want to discover this creature's identity, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the revelation. The attack happens in fractions of a second. The creature possesses specialized lips that function like suction cups, creating a hermetic seal against the victim's skin. It then retracts its mouth to create negative pressure, like a suction pump. Once firmly attached, it uses its jaws to execute a rotational movement, spinning its own body while its lower teeth, which are enormous in proportion to its body and form a continuous blade like a circular saw, cut out a perfectly round, the entire process takes seconds. The victim barely realizes what happened before the creature has already disappeared into the depths with its trophy. And this creature isn't selective. Scientists have found its marks on sperm whales, dolphins, seals, stingrays, tuna, marlins, and even on great white sharks. Yes, the same shark that flees in terror from orcas carries scars left by this creature. But the victim list doesn't stop at the natural world. In the 1970s, the United States Navy faced a mysterious problem. Their Ohio-class nuclear submarines, some of the most advanced and powerful weapons ever built by man, were returning to bases with inexplicable damage. Sonar domes were perforated, electrical cables had chunks torn out, acoustic probes stopped working without explanation. Initially, the military suspected a new Soviet weapon, some kind of secret technology that was sabotaging the American fleet during the Cold War. But when engineers examined the damage closely, they found perfectly round circular marks. The same marks found on whales and dolphins. The creature was attacking nuclear submarines. More than 30 submarines were damaged. The Navy was forced to install fiberglass covers around the most sensitive components to protect them. A marine creature had caused millions of dollars in damage to the world's most advanced submarine fleet. Underwater telecommunications cables were also victims. Oceanographic equipment returned from the depths with the same characteristic marks. And humans aren't immune either. In March 2009, a long-distance swimmer crossing a channel in Hawaii felt what he described as a pinprick on his chest. Seconds later, while being pulled into the support kayak, he felt another bite on his calf. He became the first documented case of an attack on a living human. Since then, at least six more swimmers have been attacked in Hawaiian waters, all during nighttime crossings in deep water. A seven-year-old boy was bitten on the leg while playing in the water in Australia, with a wound over three inches deep that nearly reached the bone. In 2023, a swimmer managed to grab and throw two of these creatures before they caused serious injuries. And human bodies recovered from the ocean frequently show multiple of these characteristic circular bites. So what is this creature capable of attacking everything from the largest whales to nuclear submarines? That uses bioluminescence to create lures, executes surgical attacks in fractions of a second, and leaves marks on practically all the large animals of the open ocean. It's the cookie cutter shark, also known as the cigar shark, an animal that measures at most 22 inches in length. 
smaller than your arm. This small predator developed one of the most sophisticated hunting strategies in the animal kingdom. It transformed its own insignificance into a weapon. Nobody expects to be attacked by something so small. And when the attack happens, it's too late. The cookie cutter shark has the largest proportion of teeth to body size of any known shark. Its lower teeth are fused at the base, forming a continuous blade that functions like an industrial cutter. When it changes teeth, it doesn't lose them one at a time like other sharks. It discards entire rows at once and swallows the old teeth to recycle the calcium. It can dive to nearly two and a half miles deep and performs daily vertical migrations of up to two miles, one of the largest in the animal kingdom. And the orcas, the supreme predators of the oceans, can't avoid it. The scars found on orcas in Antarctica prove that these animals travel thousands of miles to tropical waters where they become victims of this small parasite. It's one of nature's greatest ironies. The animal that hunts great white sharks, that makes schools of tuna flee in panic, that coordinates group attacks against blue whales, carries on its body the marks of a shark that fits in the palm of your hand. Nature has a strange sense of humor. Sometimes, the most efficient predator isn't the biggest or the strongest. It's the one nobody sees coming. If you made it this far, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you want to learn about another underestimated predator that holds incredible secrets, watch the video I left as a gift here on the screen. I'll see you there.